Most deaf, most deaf is all about that vlog time. We've been having really beautiful sunny weather out here, but unfortunately it's been windy for the past while and the wind just exponentially makes it so incredibly cold. Even though the sun is just blazing over you. But today, today, old man winter decided to take a break for us and we're out here and the city is live and people are out and we're having a wonderful time. The sun is shining. That's what's up. I'm walking around in a neighborhood out here called Federal Hill and it's one of the most beautiful neighbor neighborhoods out here in Baltimore. The homes are gorgeous. You know, the, the curb appeal is beautiful. But I also want to say this, even the rough neighborhoods in this city, they could all look like this though. They all have the capabilities to just, the whole city could be a Federal Hill. And I'm just serious about that because even the areas where it's like definitely run down, there is so much beauty you can just, you can see in those places. And I know people are working on that. It's, it's, I know it always seems like, oh, they just left it to die, but I follow a lot of uh, Baltimore real estate people in this city and a lot of them are actually like rebuilding these neighborhoods to the best that they can, of course, but it's happening. It's there. It's probably a very slow process. When they say it's charming, it's charm city, you know, that's like a term they use out here. That stuff is true. <laughs> You'll be like, man, this is charming. <laughs> this is truly charming out here. And as a non-native, I don't have any bias. I walk around the city all the time and I can see the greatness and beauty in it. So come out here, what y'all doing? Come, come to this city, come experience it. Come stay at my place, here for my friend. You know, you got someone out here. I know it's not an ideal vacation trip for people. <laughs> no one says, hey, I'm going to Baltimore, but I'll show you around. I am going to bring a camera and you are going to be on film though. Yo, SPJ. You. You are a Baltimore native. Yeah. And who else better than asking someone who's always running around in this city, capturing this city in particular. I don't know, just share your thoughts on Federal Hill in, in general. Um, it's pretty good, pretty dope. I've always been a fan. Um, one thing I absolutely hate about it, parking is terrible. Absolutely terrible. But, if you can find some way to park without worrying about your car being gone when you get back, I absolutely recommend it. 10 out of 10. The houses and everything look nice. They have this, this really interesting vibe that even when the design changes up, they still kind of fit together. And the places to eat, there are bars. It's just a bunch of stuff. You can, if you can just, if you want to do the touristy thing, you could just go to the actual hill and be on the hill and overlook the inner harbor. Like I said, there are bars and stuff. So if you want to do the nightlife thing, kind of has everything. It's like a market. I don't, Inside, inside, there's really, not really a market, but there's not one, it's not that far away. So, absolutely, I recommend. Right now, I'm up here on a rooftop of an Airbnb that my brother SPJ is staying at here in the city in, you know, someone who lived in New York City. Life is all about rooftops. I'm telling you, the views are amazing. They're amazing from up here. It's always great to get a different perspective of a city that you may be familiar with because when you get up on these rooftops, 
it feels like you're just looking at a whole different city actually and it's super exciting and it's super cool you know i'm using the word super a lot in this and but it is it's super everything and i'm very happy to be up here so you know find those friends you know what you know go go rent an airbnb in your city that's a good idea go go in your own city go find one that has a rooftop to go hang out on bring your camera do a photo shoot up there i'm telling you like it is a lot of fun there's a lot of creativity to be up up here you know bring food chill all that look they even got a barbecue grill up here why don't you guys tell me what would you guys barbecue what would you guys use on here and i don't do a lot of cooking i just throw money at things and get food that that's how i do Bowling. it <laughs> it's because i'm a terrible cook really is what it is <laughs> But what would you guys grill up here, you know, on this awesome rooftop? What would be fun? What do you think would uh, add to this awesome, you know, exciting, wonderful atmosphere up here? I recently just got certified in BLS, Basic Life Support. This is something that I never thought about ever doing. It would have never crossed my mind. But after taking a class like that, you realize how much value there is in being able to possibly save someone's life and the class was super fascinating as well the techniques and, and how it works and how when someone's not breathing and how you can possibly bring air back to their lungs and get their heart start pumping again just the science of that alone is really interesting to learn about um, but you know on top of that you may leave that class maybe someday using that technique to save someone's life an adult a child an infant you learn about all those things and taking that class makes me feel like i have added more value to myself as a person who's living on this planet where we all have to work with each other and i just think it's one of those things where i strongly recommend everyone go and do a class like this you know because when you learn that you're like your body is a tool that you can use to like save someone's life like it's already on you that you're equipped to bring an unresponsive person back that is a very powerful feeling to have in and, and, and not just because it's a powerful feeling but it, it's just be good to know that we are possibly capable of helping people who really need help. I'm also trying to encourage people to look into this as well because it'd be good just to know that we learn this ability where you become more valuable as a person to help other people. You know, you watch movies and you see people do CPR or someone's choking and when you take this class, you quickly learn so much of that is incorrect and there's like things I would have never thought about that maybe some of you guys already know. I don't know, maybe this is a normal thing that most people learn. I'm really not sure, but I, I'm new to it. Um, things like tilting the head back and lifting the chin. I would have never thought about that, you know, because you need to open the airwave path and, you know, the throat to the lungs. And just knowing that technique and understanding how that works is just something that feels really awesome about that. As well so like the, like I said the class is also interesting as well now I, I really really strongly suggest look into it the class you know it, it's really fun my instructor was amazing you can ask as many questions as you want that's something I'm known to do I ask a lot a lot a lot of questions and and it's okay to be very curious about the process because I learned by asking these questions it helped me understand more about how the process of you know helping someone breathe that may need to breathe of course and um and also there's also teamwork involved in it too of course like the more people the better it is because having other people around you can assign certain responsibilities to them to help you know like someone i need you to call 911 i'm going to do cpr um you please if there's an aed out there you can get come bring that so there's also, uh, you know, definitely come with friends if you want to take this type of class because it's a fun experience and you can learn from each other. Encouraging you to do this. Mm -hmm.